Hello, in this video we will look at how you can install Linux programs without using an app store. So on previous videos I've showed you how to install an app store and personally speaking I think an app store is a great way to install programs. I'll quickly show you what the app stores look like uh, before we do this video. Minimize that for a second. Um, okay, so if you scroll down Linux apps and this is an app store there and there's this one here. I'll show you discover. Wait for that to load up. Taking some time, doesn't normally take that long. I have just only turned it on. Yeah, there we go. So this is the app store, so it makes it really easy to find programs to install on your Chromebook. So I do recommend installing one of these. If you want to know how to do it, I'll put a link in the description below on how you can install an app store. However, on this video, I'm going to show you how to install a program without an app store. So I am going to install LibreOffice because LibreOffice is definitely a great alternative to Microsoft Office. If you use Microsoft Office and you're moving over to the Chromebook, you might think, well, I need something more than Google Software Office Suite. Because Google Office Suite is fantastic, don't get me wrong, it really is. But if you want a locally stored Office Suite, then I'd suggest LibreOffice. There's other Office Suites as well, but LibreOffice, from what I can see, and I remember it from many years ago, I worked at a company that actually used it. But LibreOffice is, is the best supported and it gets the most updates. Because there's other ones like Apache Open Office, but they all roughly do the same, so I'd possibly recommend LibreOffice. So I'm going to try and install LibreOffice using a command prompt, and hopefully I've got it right, because if not, this video isn't going to go very well, but to be fair, there's not much to it. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I, I, I used to use Microsoft Windows computers all the time from leaving school onwards, and I used to use command lines quite a lot. But now command lines I do find quite frustrating and there's no question about it. I find Linux the, the most complicated um, operating system. But when you start to understand, don't get me wrong, I'm no, nowhere near an expert. There's loads to understand. But installing programs don't actually appear that difficult if without an app store. So what you would need to do is to go to Linux apps here, open up your terminal. So it's my other display. There we go, there's the terminal here. Then all you do is you type in sudo space apt space install. So that's what you'd always do to install a program. Now, the, this is the part which is a bit frustrating for me because you need to know what the program is to install. So that's why I think the app store is good. But if you want to do it this way, it's good. Perhaps there's some programs that are not on the App Store, so you could try it this way. Not all programs will install this way. There's different ways to install Linux programs, which I've been looking into. So I obviously will do different videos about that in the future. But this way, so for LibreOffice, it should just be LibreOffice. And then hit return. Yes. So you can see there it's going to take up 746 megabytes. So I do think and I do genuinely believe that people really need to start getting into Linux apps more now on the Chromebook because it's, it, it's, 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 it's really secure now. Um, and it, it just opens up so much more to the Chromebook. People used to harp on about Chromebooks are just for surfing the internet. But oh, rubbish, they're not at all. Obviously, you've got Android apps, but Linux apps brings so much more power. So please try and get into them. I know if, if you do find them scary, honestly they're not, once you start using them for a while, that it's it's not that hard to be fair, and it, it, it's really good. So here's 746 megabytes. So that shows that in the future, Chromebooks, you would want to have a look at trying to get a lot more storage. For example, on this Chromebox I've got here, I think I've got 64 gigabyte of storage. So when I next get a new Chromebox, I'll definitely make sure I get one with a lot of storage, because I am going to be installing a lot of Linux programmers in the future, obviously to do videos and for myself, what I need um, personally for my website and YouTube channel and so on. So let's just do yes to that. And hopefully that shouldn't take too long to install. Actually, I don't know how long this will take to install. Hopefully not too long. I'll pause the video. Okay, so look, I pause that. That took about five minutes to install. So it will take about five minutes to install. And then you get to this part here, 
then you should simply be able to just do exit. But before we do, just so we remember, all you need to do to install the program is sudo apt install, and then you need the program name. That's the only thing. You, it, 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 there may be a list. I've not, I've not looked into it, but I'm sure there is somewhere. Uh, but that's how you do it. So you've done that, and then exit, and then what we should find is that we've got LibreOffice. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel um, because I will be doing loads more videos on Linux. I've, I've got the Linux bug now, and I'm also gonna be doing, um, did I say programs or videos? I don't know. Anyway, I meant videos. And I'll also be doing videos on the different LibreOffice programs as well. So here you can see um, we've got Libre Impress, which I believe is like PowerPoint, We've got Libra Draw, which is like a drawing program. We've got Libra Writer. But one thing I was very interested in, which I looked at, is I love Microsoft Office. I've used Microsoft Office loads in many different companies in the past because it, ma it makes it easy to create applications without getting IT involved. As soon as you get IT involved in a large organization, they start giving you time scales of whether that will take about a year to produce. So a lot of companies, the small the departments, create their own and they used Microsoft Access and I used to do that quite a lot and I enjoyed it. Um, obviously I don't use Microsoft products much anymore because I'm all about the Chrome OS and LibreOffice Base, which is this, is very similar to Microsoft um, Access. I've not used it yet, so I'm gonna look into it and see how it works and I'll be doing lots more videos out of that. So I hope that helps. If it did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and um, thanks for watching okay thank you bye